just bringing gender back into it, which yeah. is interesting. I remember reading an article that talked about one of the issues when you think about how we're raising uh, boys and girls uh, is the sports that they play. So from a very young age, boys are playing more team sports, the mm. rugby and the soccer. And, you know, there are individual people have positions, but they're not marked. Where if you then look at people, the, the, the typical sports that women will play, uh, things like netball, where you actually have bibs and you've got, a, you've got a position on the field that's very clearly identified and it's individual. It's always individualized. And also how you used to, you know, how, how punishment happens with the children. So uh, the boys will typically be punished around, you won't get to go and play at little Timmy's house. The girls will, if, you, if you're not doing that right, I'm going to take your doll away. So, so we're teaching very different dynamics yeah. um, at, a, at a very young age. So, so we're not, from a psychological safety perspective, I think it's also harder for women to understand the collective when so much of your education system has been individualized. Yeah. Again, like I said, no organization will come out and say we create distrust or unfairness in what we do. Yet there is a very high percentage of uh, females that will respond that say that they perceive uh, bias and decision making. They don't feel like their pay is fair compared to others. Right. So you have to ask yourself whether, that, regardless of whether that's true or not, we actually care about perception. Now, your challenge that you do have from any minority group is if you raise or escalate. So if you do speak up about some of this uh, piece and you think you have psychological safety, you'll typically hit the receiver with confirmation bias. Because if you are a minority group and you've come up and said this, and I've experienced this myself, right. where somebody then raises an issue and let's, let's just keep it female raising an issue, male receptive of that issue says, that's not true, we would never do that. I, I knew that women would complain about this. Right. Right. So they've just confirmed or I knew it was going to be difficult bringing you into the group or I knew that this was going to be a hard ask asking. So this confirmatory bias happens as well on the yeah. receiver of... Of everything so so one you've got psychological safety issues in terms of do you want to raise up and are you gonna it's a retaliation but the flip side of it is whoever is receiving this information because of all this historical traditions and personal experiences it likely confirms what they already assume